Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we're going to be doing free cheese pasties. Um, Mum's here, she's just rolling out the pastry ready, just a bit of preparation. Um, as it's quite tough where it's just come out the fridge. Um, so yeah, there's Mum. Ah. Just rolling out the pastry, like I say, a bit of preparation. Ingredients is behind me what we're going to be using. We'll run through all that um, when we're ready. So yeah, um, I'm going to grab the tripod and set that up or just probably hold the camera instead. Um, so yeah, we'll just go straight in with it today. Well, I'm just rolling out my pastry, as you can see. <coughs> I'm using a big cutter um that one might be a bit too thin um that one's a bit thicker isn't it never mind it's the way I've done it it is better probably a bit thicker because obviously Nine times out of ten, we we do this, and you. I mean, you can always get another one out of that, but I've done it. So the pastry don't split. Um, a couple of times now. Obviously, I rolled my pastry to cut the first oh. load out. Then I've just rolled it to cut. Yeah. So. Another two lots. Out. So I really, because it's puff pastry, you really don't want to keep rolling it. No. So I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh! We're, we're, we're roll one more. <laughs> Simon hates odd numbers. I can't stand odd numbers. It bugs me. Thirteen's an unlucky number, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I don't believe so. But to keep you happy. <clears throat> Also, yeah, this is a new mat, pastry mat. Well, I've had it a while. I just yeah, we just not use don't it. Don't tend to get it out for videos, so I don't know why. It also gives you how to uh, under these um how to make pie pastry, pizza dough. Gives you all your measurements down the sides, grammage ounces. Oh. Over there. There you go. Just if you're interested in. What grammage to ounces are, cups and that. You can freeze the video and then have a look. Oven uh, temperatures where yeah, I broke my glass one, that. so. And then that's under this side is all the. And it also on the gives you the size tart, pie, tortillas, pizza, pastry, and that. So, yeah. I haven't actually got my ingredients ready. No. So yeah, that's the first part. We've just got to literally sort all the ingredients out and then we'll run through it with you. Hi. And here we are already. I have We're a... Back. <coughs> excuse me. A tub of... Ricotta. Ricotta cheese. Uh, I wrote it down. <coughs> 30... Grams of Pumper. parmesan. We've got about thirty-one, but you know you can miss whatever you want. And um, I have hundred and ninety grams. One hundred and ninety grams of a hundred and ninety grams of mozzarella because that's what I had left. So I have my pastry here all done out in rounds. I've used my large. I've got these. That a a set of pastry cutters, and I have used the large one that is about ten centimeters, so it's quite a big one, as you can see. And two eggs. Oh, and yes, two eggs. Now, all I'm going to do is just scoop the eggs with me in. Two eggs. 
Put them over there. My oh, trusty fork. I'm going to put it just right all in here. Ricotta. My ricotta in. Up. <coughs> it doesn't matter really how what order you put it in. There it goes. And my mozzarella. All in one, look at that. Now you can get <coughs> um, a different cheese, two parmesan, because yes, I do understand that it is an expensive cheese to buy. And there are substitutes out there that you can get. It's just really, you need a hard cheese. I am um, now just to combine that all I'm gonna do is use about half my egg. Just half, just a bit. So we combine that all together until it's nice and smoothly done. We're not doing here some we've done earlier mm. in this recipe today. There you go. I don't know. Probably about half, wasn't it? I used two eggs, about half. Just going to use that anyway for just to combine it. Obviously, you don't want it sloppy, hopefully. Where, um, obviously, this is what do you say? Maltese recipe. It's more like a Maltese recipe to combine these sort of cheeses but uh, didn't want to try and pronounce the name of it and look dumb no so we're just calling them triple uh, free cheese pasties yeah there you go i need to spoon um, spoon in. Yeah. Got to spoon it in. Spoon in. Um, obviously, what you want is just to make sure your risotto isn't sort of lumpy. But you're going to have that with the because you've got the mozzarella in there. Because so you've got the mozzarella. Um, and I did use the thin one my little grater you just want it really thick of course they've done, uh, finally done your parmesan in as you that's the way you're meant to do it but parmesan meant to be thinly grated mm. i think that's a bit big so I a teaspoon. obviously there's some of this left stick in some pasta bit of mince and yum yum Or if you're brave enough, melt it on some toast. Cheese on toast. Let's pop that away. I don't know what it probably won't even be worth freezing. Because it's got a liquid cheese in it. <coughs> well, you can actually freeze uh ricotta. Ricotta cheese. Oh well, you probably could freeze it then. You can actually freeze it. Oh, well, there you go. If you do do this recipe and you have a load left over, you could always um, give it a go and freeze it. Mm. Just going to twist. Just trying to be posh. Yeah. <laughs> then, I mean... You could have to buy an, a pasty crimper now. <laughs> yeah. A metal pasty crimper. And you'll see we've got a lot. This is um, a puff pastry, by the way, I've used. So it will puff up, but you know, put a nice, that one was a bit tight, a nice spoon in there. You've got a load to do. <laughs> be nice to see what these come out like, because I've never actually, never done anything like this before, have we? I'm just trying to 
film you and trying to get show them what we've actually used pastry wise and I'm just gonna twist my pastry ends just to hopefully sorry if I'm not filming people but I'm trying to bring over and show you what we've actually used. Oh I broke that one. <coughs> but there you go. Oh. So here's what we've used. You can stretch your, um, you know. Oh yeah, you can stretch your pastry. Out to yeah. make it uh, an, uh, more an off blonde. So then. we've used Tesco's mozzarella. This is the lid off the um, risotto. Tesco's made in Italy. Uh, we've used. A block of puff pastry. That one's for another thing else. And then I can't find the the sleeve for the parmesan. But that was how much was that? About three pounds, I think. Parmesan is quite expensive, but like I say, there is. Um, and that was the size. Just a little point on the end that we grated off. That, that little size was about three pounds, I think. It's expensive, but uh, I reckon these are going to turn out quite nice. I say, there is other cheeses. It's Grand, Grand Something. Yeah, there's one called Grand Something that you can buy, um, which is similar to Parmesan. Basically, is a is a substitute to a Parmesan. Um, which is only a little bit cheaper. Well, than it's quite a bit when you're... Buying it, it depends obviously. I suppose where you get it from. That's why I'm just gonna twist my ends to stop me being over zealous. Bit too much. Yeah. You get a bit slap happy and Yeah, and just always uh, just tuck that if you wish. So yeah, we're gonna finish this off, and then we'll show you the end product we'll show before you the end um, ones. before they go in the oven. I'm gonna show you this one for the but I've stretched it a bit. I'm gonna put a spoon of my mixture. Um, one teaspoon. A yeah, little bit of teaspoon. yolk. I'm just going to brush around the edges and then I'm folding that just and I twist that corner, press that corner and then just push it up a bit to stretch it, stretch pastry out and then just literally, you know. Fold it over and put that on my tray. They haven't got to be perfect. I'm going to brush them with eggs, with a bit of beaten egg, and pop these into the oven. Well, we do the last ones. Well, I do the last ones. A little egg wash. A little egg wash on there. We'll show you one more time just in case you forgot how to do it. This just makes it go like a golden colour. And they are ready to go in the oven. Look at that. <coughs> Yeah, plop them in. <coughs> and I've put my oven on a, a six at the moment. That is uh, about 200 Fahrenheit um, Celsius already. Mm. Try to get used to that. Get used to what? Celsius Fahrenheit. So especially if I do... Decide to okay. go electric. It's why are you looking at why are you looking at converting? 
because I always use gas and a lot of people might not. It's going to be weird going over to electric if we do. Yeah, I haven't com From completely gas. made my mind up on it yet. I'm not 100% convinced on that. But we'll say, well, um, what did I say? About 25 minutes. So I'm going yeah, to give that. 20 to 25 minutes. <coughs> so I was just trying to look on the recipe. Shall I give it 15 minutes and have a look? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give it 15 minutes and then I'm going to have a look. See how they're doing because they're on the top of the shelf. A little bit in there. Yeah. About a teaspoon. I know it's going to be awkward because it is going to puff this paste because I'm using puff pastry. But. Egg wash the sides, wrap it over, push it down so that it seals that in, twist the ends, twist the end, give them a little twist and then so that that hopefully seals that in I'm going to lift that bit of pastry and then just tuck it over Really, you can pinch it, you can do it however you want it, doesn't there it? There you go. And that ought to be ready. <coughs> and there we go. <laughs> I'm just in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, there they are, all made. Um, that's the last of that's them. That's the last tray. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit of mixture left over. Um, we'll find something to do with it. Do you know what? You can always make half or buy two packs of pastry. Um, I don't know where my pastry went, but I bought these ones. These are, I use puff pastry. Hundred gram pack. So you could always buy two and then you'd have a lot more. And you can make less of the mixture. Or you can actually use this up on a lot of other things. You could put it on a pizza or pasta. Cheese scones. Cheese scones. <laughs> Yeah. Jacket potatoes. Yeah, whatever. Uh, We're fine. Hey, world's it. open. Put the ones in. So, I'm going to pop these ones in the oven. And we'll see you when they are done. Hi, and welcome back. <coughs> like I say, it's took between 50 to 25 minutes, depending. Obviously, I'm moving trays around. The first lot went on top of my other, so they cook quicker. It does depend on your oven. So just keep an eye on them. But here we are. There's here. some of them. The other tray is over here. Uh, chilling out. They're cooling down, they've just come out. And here's these ones. And this is how they should look with that little, uh, it actually splits. Just... Yeah. And there you have it. Get the cheese in the middle, look at that. There's your cheesy bits in the middle. It's um, really nice, like a pastry, 
treat. It's not over strong on the cheese. That's why I love strong cheese, but this is it. You can actually taste it. The only thing I didn't mm. do that you can do is um, <coughs> put See some salt problem. and pepper to them for a bit of seasoning as well, if you would like. So, I hope you right. enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Turn the little bell notification on. <laughs> I'm watching Simon. Um, um, we'll see you again soon. I am now going to have a coffee before I do the afternoon play school run. See you soon. Yeah, thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell notification on so you get notified when we upload a video. Um, we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.